you never really see Jen press a nervous button that like gives like a free roll in or spot dodge to a player, you know. Jen's so composed, so Tilde is gonna have to be really smart to find these pockets. You can't just wait for Jen to give it to you because Jen will never give you free openings. Mm -hmm. That being said, very uh, patient start just shielding each other's moves right here because no one really does want to do something committal. It's super bad for both uh, characters to get blown up by something committal and a nice dash attack. Now I know this is a matchup Paltinas really do not like. Um, I've heard Paltinas compla players complain about this. Mainly, um, I think it's just because of the fact that like, I think a weakness of Palutena is with punishing and that's something Falco specializes in. So it'd be really easy for Palutena to get overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like you said before, Jen is just so good at not letting you get those openings, both offensively and defensively. Uh, something I've definitely been seeing so far on stream is Jen's ability to finish his plate when it comes to uh, the punish game. But yeah. Right now, just playing a pretty patient neutral. And and this is the thing with Tilde. Um, something I've seen him tweet about before is like. What he's got to do as a player is just learn to laser camp, you know, learn to stay still. And you see this right now because he has a lead and he could easily just run in and lose it, but he was opting to stay still the whole time. That means that Jen still found an opening through that, and this could be a stock loss if uh, if Jen gets a read, but Tilde being so tricky right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, and I mean, I've, I've talked so far about Jen's ability to finish his plate when it comes to uh, the, ledge, the ledge trap game, but Tilde's uh, recoveries have just been so tricky the angles on on the fire falcos uh you know using the stage to his advantage nice up smash yeah i saw um gameplay earlier falcos up smash really good at catching uh like those rising fares on shield any rising aerial it's pretty big in the front so you can't really fade back that much it'll usually catch you mm -hmm. really good stuff by tilde patient um shield and this is so even now but tilde stuck on the platform Nice roll in till they find center stage. Not getting a whole lot out of it. There we go. I like the high recovery from Tilde. Uh, I don't think we've seen a high recovery thus far uh, in game one. Tilde's been pretty tricky as to what angles he's going to ledge from. All right, Jen was ready for that high recovery though. I like the idea from Tilde. All right, has Tilde get back to center stage. Phantasm gonna be caught by the dash attack. Now it is on Jen to get some space. Yeah, and this is an interesting percent for Falco, you know? It's like, I think up till Bear will still connect, but soon it's gonna be out of there, and then you have to get a kill. Then Falco actually struggles to kill more the higher the percent, because you have to get a read instead. You can't get one of your confirms. Mm -hmm. So I think Jen knows that and is really playing so stationary because all Jen is in Jen's mind is avoid up tilt. Even the grab, you could uh, potentially DI out of the confirm. Right. Great roll read right there. Finally, Town and City high blast zones. Uh, gonna be making that dash attack kill a little bit later. And that up smash not gonna be killing at all thanks to no rage. Ooh, not Fair true, enough. but. Jen trying to land aggressively and going to get blown up for it. Ooh, Tilde had the right idea, uh, but just just barely misspaced that pivot grab on the platform. Right, percent deficit for Tilda right now, but nothing a good Falco oh. combo can take care of. Yeah, 50 right there. Oh, into 60. That's such a strength from Falco, that j double jump fair. Such a huge jump with a long-lasting move that's going to cover so much space. Yeah, we've talked we've uh, talked about it before on stream, but just the amount of coverage that Falco can have with his ridiculous jump height and you know the long-lasting kill moves. Almost killing right there. Yeah. All right, I like the laser trying to force a lower recovery. Good, job. Good stuff from Jen, not trying to challenge that fair, respecting it so much because Tilde can very safely do a fade back fair in that situation. Yeah, Tilde has just not been able to get on stage with these phantasms. Jen's been ready with the dash attack every oh. time, but Tilde ready for that uh, tech in with the down tilt. Yeah, that's just um, 
That's some, that's some high level player stuff. I feel like it's such a staple in those 10 situations to read the role of the center stage because even if you're Jen, even if you're such a good player, it's almost in human nature to want to get to the center stage in those 10 right. situations. It, it's something in your like primal lizard yeah. brain that's like, I don't want to, I don't want to be near the TNC ledges. Yeah. And Tilde realizing that, realizing it's probably the most likely option and just covering it with that nice dash. And it looks like we're going to be running it right back to TNC. Then we're going to be getting uh, that space to run around and really play to his strengths that we've seen in bracket so far, which is those edge guards. Though Tilda has not been making it easy for Jen so far. The, you know, Spacey's historically not a great recovery. Uh, well, maybe not not great but an exploitable recovery for sure. But Tilda's been making me a believer otherwise. Yeah, it's it's quite crazy. I don't know if I've seen Tilda get edge guard today. I know. And just not even once, because I think at this point he's built such a reputation that you're almost scared to even try to edge guard him. You're like, I feel like I'm going to... So a lot of people, especially Jen and pretty much everyone Tilda's been fighting, just wait on ledge and then try to ledge trap instead, instead of going off stage. Yeah, and I mean, that's been working uh, for Tilda's advantage, but right there, uh, back air going to be taking Tilda's first stock. Oh, and then this is the worst, because now you're back on the le back on um, the edge of the stage with Jen with momentum. Tilda managing to stop it. Wow, nearing out of there. Ooh, Jen wasn't ready uh, that time for the Phantasm. Nice. I like the patience from Jen waiting out that entire hitbox, especially that, you know, kind of delayed landing hitbox of the fair. Nice. Ooh. Read the air dodge down to the ledge with the uh, the down tilt and going to be getting Tilda's second stock. Uh, Tilda now on the board with a stock, but a full stock deficit. Yeah, full stock deficit, though, might not mean too much, but... Now 55%, Jen still at basically no percent. Spoke too soon though. Tilda may be looking for a bit of a reset there. No, up tilt actually beating the down air out of shield. I've been seeing Powers uh, do that more, the, uh, the down air out of shield. Yeah, down air is a pretty quick move. So it's, it's a good way to mix uh, people up for sure. And knocking on, knocking on the shield with the fairs. Let me in. Cool. Clean stuff. I wonder if that was still true at that percent. It kind of looked like Jen win for something until they caught it. Mm -hmm. And this is absolutely not over for Tilda. You know, 97%. You know, that's two Falco co combos. Ooh, directional air dodge in. Ooh, mix, mixing it up right there. I think Jen was expecting Tilde to fall on the platform, but fell through and side beat aggressively. Oh, I think that was supposed to be a jump up air, but fell off the stage. Nice, I like the reflector to kind of lock Jen in place. Oh, nice. Yeah, that explosive flame was brutal because it basically forced Jen to recover so low that she didn't have the luxury of mixing up that teleport timing. And when you don't, when you can't mix it up, it's much easier for Falco to get that two-frame dare. It's a pretty consistent timing if you know when they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. And I, I understand the idea from Jen uh, because you know we've been talking about it before. Uh, Falco's ability to cover so much vertical space in the ledge trap or in the edge guard game. Um, you know, you want to put out a hitbox of your own to try and stuff that. Uh, but Tilda, Tilda didn't bite. Uh, and instead waited out the the warp and got the down air. Yeah. Finish out the set. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I do agree. Like, putting that hitbox out could save your life. But when you're in that position, it's it's like, why not take a, do a recovery option that doesn't have the 